And we're back with the Black Series Vel Sartha figure from Andor. She's in her look from the Aldani raid here. The box art looks a little derpy and the side art is closer, but it still seems a little bit off. Looking at the figure, it's not quite as bad as the front of the box, but I think it's the eyes. Faye Marseille has larger and bluer eyes than this, which makes the rest seem just a little weird. But at least we're still not in the early Black Series territory. Here's a cool little detail I just noticed. They painted in her earpiece from the raid. Looking at the figure in more detail now, the ponytail appears to be glued down. I've tried to move it a little bit, but I don't really want to force it too hard and end up breaking it. It would be cool if it was articulated so that you could get some more dynamic poses with her. Speaking of posing, she moves in all the ways you would expect from the Black Series. She's got the newish single jointed elbows and knees, which work well. You can get her into combat and action poses pretty easily. She doesn't suffer from the weak joints that some female figures do. I know some people really got bent out of shape by them, but I really like the look of these space AK type blasters that Vel and the rest of the Aldani Rebels used. The one that comes with the figure looks good and has this cool foldable stock. I wish it was slightly tighter because it likes to fold in on itself, but, but it works all right. It feels slightly big for her, but I think that's pretty accurate to the show. Here is Vel next to Luthen and Cassian, three pals that would trust each other implicitly. This figure is pretty neat, but could use a few tweaks. I recommend it though. Now we just need the rest of the crew from the Aldani raid. At the very least, Vel's longtime close roommate, Sinta. If you like this video, you might also like my look at a few bootleg figures from AliExpress. Give it a look. Thanks for watching.